They only want to stay here until Moonlight's kids are ready to travel. Do you want to stay with them until then? Of course not. But they meant us no harm. If we wait, this territory will be free for High Clan to take in a moon or two. That decision is for Leaf Star and Sky Clan to make. This is good land. I think Sky Clan would be happy here. I'm willing to give the sisters a moon to move on, to if they need it. But they must let us return to our clans. I'm not staying here another day. You can go. We're bigger than you and stronger. Any battle between us would be bloody. But there is no fight if you leave us in peace. Strength doesn't always win battles. You held our leader captive. She's wounded. Did the clan cats want revenge? Let's go. If they're letting Squirrel Flight leave, then there's no need to fight. Leaf Star's wound will heal faster if she returns home right away. Park Song was thinking with his head and not his claws. Park Pelt has chosen a good aid. Very well. Thanks for sharing your fresh kill. I'm sorry that we met under such circumstances. If we meet again, I hope it will be as friends. I hope that you're kidding as well. Thank you. Are you coming? I have to go. Why did you call me like I was a kid? What in Star Clan were you thinking? I'm sorry. Going off like that on a harebrained mission without telling me. You, you would have stopped me if you'd known. Of course I would have. Now look what's happened. You found a whole new group of cats to fight over territory. So if Shadow Clan and Wind Clan weren't enough. But we don't have to fight with them. They're happy for Sky Clan to have the land when they're finished with it. Don't you see? I found Sky Clan in the land they need. Now the clans won't fight over territory again. Don't be naive. New territory will probably mean new battles. Since when was any clan satisfied with what they have? I had a good idea and I followed it through. Leaf Star likes the new territory and now Sky Clan has somewhere they can finally make a real home. You just don't want to admit I was right. Nonsense. I'm a clan leader. I welcome ideas from any of my clan mates. And if it's a good idea, then I'm happy to be proved wrong. My idea is a good idea. You're only seeing it from your point of view. Have you really thought about what it will be like for Sky Clan to move again so soon? To build yet another camp? To learn about new territory? How do you know there aren't any two legs here? Or a family of foxes? Have you checked every tail length of this land? What if one of their kids is killed by snake here? Will you take responsibility? Life is risky! There will be risks wherever Sky Clan lives! And how does it make Sky Clan look? Agreeing to live where the other clans choose again? Do you really think they'll treat them as equals once they finish pushing them around? This is not my problem. It's up to Sky Clan. Lee Star wants to move. She knows what she's doing. Are you sure after a few seasons living here, Sky Clan won't feel like they've been pushed outside the clans again? Why would they? The land is right next to ours and Shadow Clans. And they'll have a strip of territory right down to the lake shore. They'll be as much part of the clans as we are. I was worried about you, you know. I know. I I didn't know that I'd be away for that long. And I told Sparkpelt where I'd gone. Sparkpelt was worried too. More because you asked her to keep your secret. She didn't know whether telling me was betraying you or remaining silent was betraying me. You should never have put her in that position. I know. I, I just wanted to make the clans okay again. How was I to know we'd, we'd be taken to prisoner? But we weren't hurt, and it was good to see how the other cats lived. The sisters do have an interesting way of life. Bramble Star was even trying to understand. Was he enjoying making me feel bad? And we don't? That is not what I meant, and you know it! They treated us well! What about Leaf Star's wound? She tried to escape. And you? Did you like this sister so much that you didn't want to come home? Don't be mouse-brained. Mouse-brained? You forced me to lead my clanmates into a hostile territory, and you call me mouse-brained. Your clan deputy for Star Clan's sake. You're supposed to be protecting your clan, not putting them in danger, and you're my mate. 
If there's anyone in ThunderClan that I should be able to rely on, it should be you! You can rely on me! Not when you behave like a reckless apprentice. From now on, I want you to run every decision by me. No more going off in your own ridiculous missions. No more arguing with me at gatherings. If a deputy can't support her own leader, then maybe she's not fit to be deputy. Uh, did my own mate just threaten to replace me as deputy? Was was the point in talking to him? He seems determined to twist my words, and he clearly didn't want to admit that my mission is to help the clans.